the purpose of this video is to show you how to use Link 2013 in conjunction with Outlook 2013 to connect with students remotely over the internet. So before this, you can do this, you have to have uh, Outlook 2013 and um, Link 20, uh, 2013 installed in your computer. Notice on my computer I do have Office 2013 here. So I'm going to open PowerPoint, I mean Outlook. And then go to the Calendars tab in Outlook. And you'll see in the Home tab up here the new Link Meeting. So I can set up a new meeting. Let's set it up for a little bit in the past so it'll start right away. And I'll get it for a little while here. Okay. Then we send in, uh, we send out to uh, the people we want to invite and put a subject of the meeting here. Um, meeting green. And notice that the the email that goes out, the student or whoever you're inviting, the invitee, has a big join link meeting hyperlink right there. So we're going to send that out. And notice that I get a reminder because this already started in the past and the meeting's going on right now. And we get this nice little join online button right here from my side as the teacher. The student will get that email and click on the join link meeting hyperlink and the student or the invitee does not need Outlook 2013 or Link or any of that. Um, there is some Java in, uh, involved so they'll need some Java stuff on their computer. So. I get the choice here between using Link's audio from the computer or, or a phone. Um, I, I could type in a phone number right there and uh, we could talk on the phone with that person. But I'm going to use the computer audio starting the conference call and this takes a little while. It's got to start up Java and stuff. So now I am inside the meeting. Um, I can share my screen by clicking this button right here. I do have two monitors. If you only have one monitor, this will say desktop right here, which means you'll share your entire desktop, your entire screen. So I'm going to share this, and notice that it's saying that everybody will be able to see everything on your screen. So if you don't want that, you can also do, if you click back here, you can just share a program. So you could share something like, you know, PowerPoint or something instead of your entire computer. Um, so you could go do other things on your computer and all the other people would see would be PowerPoint. You know, uh, There's a whiteboard you can share as well. So I'm going to share my primary monitor. Yes. Okay. And then this is probably what you want your students to do sometimes. Like for BTS, students often have trouble knowing what to do on the computer. So you would tell them to click this and then share desktop, which would be unless they have more than one monitor. Um, and then they would, they, this is what they would see. And then if they can't, you know, usually what I do with students is I will talk them through the problem and let them, you know, use to control their mouse and click on stuff and open things and type in uh, their info and stuff but sometimes they might be stuck and not know what to click on even if you tell them so you would say okay well click on give control up here at the top of your screen you'll see give control click on that that means that the person on the other end who would be you in this case could now control my mouse remotely and then when we're done presenting so when the student is done presenting you can click there or down here um, we can chat and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then here is the hang up button and that ends the meeting or at least that takes you out of the meeting. Anyone else in the meeting um, is still there until they hang up. So I hope that helps.